Look. Jean mm. <laughs> Vincent. Hey, hey. He got a deep voice for a woman. Any day, eh? <laughs> Don't you talk like that in front of your mother, or I'm warning you. You keep quiet when I listen to this. Yeah, that's what you keep quiet, Roy, or I'll be amongst you. <laughs> Thank you, Marjorie. I shall look forward to seeing this after the show. But now, down to one of the loveliest gardens in England for our gardening spot, and your old pal, Down Earth with the Furrowed Brow. Oh, 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 there you are. And you've chosen a nice day for it, too. I'll just straighten up. Oh, I get a bit of my old trouble about this time of year. Oh, bloody string's gone again. Never mind, I lobble. Well. <clears throat> now then, where are we? If, like me, you're partial to a strawberry and like to see the roses doing well, well, now's the time to get those blooming green fly right where it hurts them. During the breeding period, eh? <laughs> now, you take my word for it, most of those little blighters like a bit of hanky-panky after dark. And that's when I get some. I use a tip of my old dad's, God bless him. After he lights out, I, I put an old miner's helmet on and... I can see what I'm doing off and I creeps down to my bushes quiet like and when I catches them at it I throw it back at the ice cold insecticide all over them. <laughs> you don't like that? No, he get as angry as wasps. <laughs> well I written I'm about ready for a reflective pipe full of Satan's ready rubbed. I'll, I'll see you in the shed next week. Cherry over now and hey, just for get some muck on your boots. <laughs>